Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah with another exciting episode of Bravely Default. How are you guys doing today? All right, well, prepare yourselves because we got another awesome episode coming right for you. But before we get started, you guys know what to do. Hit that like button. Show your support. It only takes a second, so thank you. On our last episode, we went to the Wind Temple, and we found out that the garb, in order to make the right of something or rather, was all messed up. So we're heading over to the Yolyana Woods. I think that's what it's called. And yeah, we stopped right over here. So let's jump on into this area and uh, find this guy who can re-stitch uh, a new garb for us. Yolyana Woods Needleworks. Feels familiar. It's been ages, but this is it. We were here. The mother Vestal, I, and Olivia. Was that strange, distant groaning here then, too? Or am I the only one who's thoroughly unsettled right now? You're not alone. The lack of women here is positively chilling. Though it seems someone lives here. Hello? Is anyone there? I thought I heard something. This place draws few visitors, I fear, and me fewer still. So, to whom do I owe this pleasure? I am Anya Soblish, sir. Vestal of Wind. <laughs> Little Agnes, is it? Oh, you have grown, child. You were scarce more than a little sprout when your predecessor brought you here. Now look at you. A fine woman you've become. Fine and plump and... <laughs> pleasantly jiggly. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, lovely. It's a geriatric ring -a bell Then you are indeed the sage I seek. I fear I do not remember your name, sir. <laughs> oh, we are a lot alike in that, my dear. Not many people around these parts to call me by it. Whatever it was. Sage will do just fine by me. It is what the last Vestal called me. At her heels, you. Thage, Thage, you'd call. A more charming little echo I've never heard. Well, I am glad to have found you. Feels rather good to hear a pretty young thing like you was looking for me. Seems I've not quite lost my charm. Now, you called yourself Vestal. I take it that means the last Vestal is... Yes, sir. Her tenure as Vestal ended five years ago. Her life, a year later. I see. A sad loss for all of us. She was fair but firm. Very firm. She had taut curves fit to drive a man mad. We shall be needing an in-depth account, good sage. Also, a briefing on any wild women of the woods. Stop talking. Just stop. You've quite the following, my dear. I had thought the Vestals forswore all contact with the outside world. These are... They are assisting me in my task. Oh, assistance, eh? I see. <laughs> oh, and such colorful characters they are. I've kept you out here long enough. Come inside. I see. Well, that's quite the story. You've been brave to come this far, Agnes. I'd not have managed on my own. I owe Tiz a great debt. Hmm. Well, uh, 
Perhaps it is we've come to the harrowing. The harrowing? The swelling dark is a harbinger, lad, as is the fall of the temples, the dulling crystals, the great chasm. It is the Vestal's calling to see that darkness purged. I must awaken the four crystals. Awaken them? Absolutely astonishing! Huh? What? I took the liberty of stealing a peek at the ladies' fashions you've assembled in the next room, good sir. Each is a beauty fit to outshine the next. Their allure had me spellbound. Spellbound, I tell you. <laughs> I'm impressed a man of your scant years can properly appreciate them. I would gladly talk the night away with a man of your genius. They're a matched pair. Ring a bell, please. We're in the middle of an important discussion. As am I, my friend. This is art, romance. You'll come to understand in a few years. And as I recall, we didn't come here to talk. We came to procure Vestal garb as quickly as possible. While you were chatting, I searched. My efforts bore unexpected fruit, that's all. <laughs> so, you've come to me because of your need for new vestments, have you? I have. The garb housed in the temple was lost to the darkness. We found it in scrap, sir. Hmm. Those garbs are woven from rainbow thread. No substitute will suffice. And is this thread something you keep on hand? I fear not, my dear. The Vestal to wear the garb must procure the thread herself. <laughs> it is tradition. The last Vestal of Wynne did so, as did her predecessor and countless Vestals before. Even had I the thread used to craft the last Vestal's garb, I could not fashion it into aught of use to you. I understand. Tell me where I must go. Of course, my child. But come, the day is nearly spent. Stay the night. Oh, yes. If you girls would like, I would be happily obliged to make space in my own bed for you. Oh, unacceptable. Likewise. <laughs> let the two of us pass the night in ardent conversation. Wow, that old man. Oh my gosh. Good morning. Slept well, I trust. Idea, was it? How about making a nip of breakfast now for an old man, eh? What? Why should I cook for you? Because a young beauty's home-cooked meal is far more appetizing than anything I might make myself, of course. Given her upbringing, I've grave doubts the Vestal could boil water, let alone cook. That leaves you. Food can wait, Sage. Now the location of the rainbow thread, if you please. And yes, jealous are you? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. The location of the rainbow thread, if you please. Huh. You're no fun at all. Very well, then. I prepared a light meal while you were sleeping. Eat before you go. You'll find the rainbow thread very deep in a cave that is far west of here. I shall mark it upon your map. All right. Such sweet sorrow. 
How about a nip of breakfast for an old man, huh? He cooks just fine. Quite. It was nothing especially fancy or out of the ordinary, but it went down fine. I thought it was really good, actually. Likewise, I wonder why he would want you to cook for him, Adia. All alone out here in the woods, maybe he missed the taste of the big city. Ah, oh, when you put it that way, I feel bad for saying no. What sort of food do you like to cook, Adia? Hmm, I haven't cooked enough to have a specialty or anything, but if I had to pick something... I make a mean jam and butter omelet. Beg your pardon? Or whipped chestnut and sweet potato toast. Uh... Or have you ever tried marshmallow and condensed milk risotto? Uh, no, but it sounds sweet. Painfully so. Yep. Mother and father were left speechless by its amazing deliciousness. I'd be happy to whip some up for you next time. Right, next time. Okay, so what's going on over here? Whoa, secrets. Oh, you can just go to bed. <laughs> okay, cool. Old man. Cross the bridge, head west. You'll find a cavern. Okay. Oh, yeah. Peace ring. Sweet. Uh, what is a peace ring? A soothing ring that nullifies confuse? Uh, that's kind of lame. Just finding stuff. Okay, that's kind of cool. A little bit of an interactive area. Need something? Armory. Oh, wow, it's a wolf! That sells stuff. Mithril sword, mithril axe. Don't need any of this stuff. Mithril spear. Mithril knuckles, mithril shield. Um, interesting mithril helm. Cat ear hood. Um, raises magic attack. Tiger mask. You got a tabby suit. Immune to poison. Mithril plate. I could buy like a tabby suit. Or a mithril plate. Mithril armor. Why is it that mithril armor and mithril plate... Uh, whatever. Mithril gloves. What does that do? No special effects. Bangle. It raises HP. Mage shell. Wow. White cape. Clothespin. I do like the white cape. Um, right now I guess I'm gonna buy this mithril plate to help ring a bell survive to take a couple more hits. Yeah, ring a bell needs something better than this leather armor. There we go. That's much better. Okay, I'm talking to a fox here. Magic shop? Okay, I have those. A trader? Okay, I don't need any of those items. Alright, we're done. This is the adventurer here. How goes? Alright, I'm gonna save. Wow, that those cutscenes with that old man. Ugh. Took way too long. Antarctic wind? I just grabbed that. Okay, I just found some random thing on the ground. So wherever you go, just constantly keep on pressing A and you'll find something. Alright, let's go check out this one place over here. Run! This place holds nothing for us. Let's return to our task. Wait, what? That wasn't the place? <laughs> Why did I think it was that cave? Um. Okay, do I have to go on my ship? Yeah, apparently I do. Submarine! Okay, this cave. How do I get there? Oh, I gotta go all the way around? Oh, that's lame. Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's turn our battles off. Just so we can run over there really quick. Come on, Adia, run! I mean, on yes. Yes. Alright, come on. Because we don't need to fight any of these guys. We just need to get in this cave and keep going. We gotta find our rainbow thread. Vestiment Cave. Ooh. Ugh. What a dank, wretched place. Who knows what's lurking inside? Are we certain we'll find this thread in here? 
I wouldn't put it past that sage to be pulling our leg. A slippery old fox, that one. Said the slippery young fox. The sage has aided Vestals in their service for at least two generations. Let us trust in him for now. Then we've no reason to stand around debating. Let's press on. Attaboy, Tiz. Set him straight. Okay, uh, we are going to find two chests, apparently. Let's go negative 50% for the encounter rates. And let's knock this out. Ooh, cool. Looks like abandoned ruins here. Some grass. That's kind of weird. Dead end. Oh, all right. All right, what kind of enemies do we have in here? Ooh, zombie wolves? Are they? Yeah, zombie wolves. Cool. Zombie wolf. Wow, I actually charmed that one. That was cool. All right, that was fun. All right, so that was kind of a dead end. Let's take a look over here. What's going on over here? Really nothing. Oh, one treasure box. Got it. Who's next? Zombie wolves? More? Ooh, what is this? Butterfly. All right, let's see. Uh-huh. Let's examine this thing. Great moth. Six hundred weak against wind. There you go. Knocked him out. Awesome. On yes, gaining that level. Tiz learned mug. All right, let's see what mug is. It looks like uh, maybe a thieving ability. Let's see. Uh -huh. Mug. Deal the same damage as a conventional attack to one target. Also has a twenty-five percent chance to steal an item from that target. Cool. I wonder if that's actually worth doing, though. High potion, okay. Yeah, I wonder if you actually using Mug to potentially steal stuff is worth it. I mean, is there... Are there any enemies that have, like, really good item drops that you can only get from stealing? I can only imagine that they'd program that into the game. You know, like, if you come across a rare enemy or something, he's holding, like, a really good weapon or something. That would be cool. Alright, so we got these moths. I don't need that. Actually, you know what? Here, let's do this. Ring a bell can attack as well. There we go. Nice. So that's all I need right there. Just that angel bow. Okay, what else? Alright, this is like looking like a dead end over here. Okay, here we go. Found the stairway to even lower. Okay, we got three treasure chests in here. Who's here? Moth? Zombies? Oh, God, I don't have that bat. What is that thing? All right, blood bat. Cool. All right, attack the zombie wolf and go. Nice. Aerial family. See, Aerial... Um, I was going to say Aerial Pokemon. Aerial enemies in this game, they're weak against bows. Kind of like in uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. So every time that the uh, person that has a bow equipped hits a super effective uh, flying type, then uh, that's more points towards using that special attack that he's got. Oh, not another lock chest. Every single one of these areas has, like, one locked chest in it. That's not cool. I gotta find out how to get that. Whoa! We've never seen this thing before. Whoa, self-cannibalize. What? That thing just, like, took me out. Alright, let's see. This is a dark lantern. Cool.
Alright, 600 inorganic family. Okay, easy. Kill that guy. Alright, a deal leveling up. Wonderful. Alright, I see one treasure chest right over here. Let's grab that. A remedy. Okay, don't need that. I like this bottom map, how it like lights up as you're going along. I think that's pretty pretty cool. Okay, that's the way out. We've got to explore more, because there's one more chest that I can probably get within here. So let's do that. Who's here? Um, nope. Okay, so now I think we've seen all of the enemies in this area. I think I could just go auto-attack. There we go. And I think I have my special ready, too, because I'm hitting all these moths and bats. I can only imagine that my special is almost ready to go. Okay, so there's two. Oh, and there's a treasure chest all the way on the other side. Dang! These battles! Yeah, get that auto. There we go. Got an ether. Wow, finding an ether drop? That's crazy. An ether is worth like 250 peeg, which is exactly what the currency is called. It's not pocket gold or PGs. It's peeg. Isn't that weird? There's like no vowel. All right, here we go. Auto, yes. It's super effective. Hmm. Hmm. See, it only took like two seconds. Okay, 500 peak obtained. Very nice. Alright, so we can either go left or right. I'm going to go with uh, left. Let's go with left. Now, since we've seen all of the enemies, I, it's not worth encountering them or fighting them right now. Because we're, it's almost time to end the episode. we got like 8 minutes to finish this up. Here we go! I don't really want to go over 30 minutes if I don't have to. Just to keep the episodes consistent, you know? Okay, let's see. 5 treasure chests here. Okay, there's 1. Mage shell. Okay, we were actually going to buy a mage shell. What did we say a mage shell was? Uh, raises magic defense when applied to the skin. Okay, that's kind of cool. Mage shell. Alright. Well, that was one of the five uh, treasure chests. That would have been pretty bad if we had to go all the way back. So it looks like we picked the right path. Run! Alright, Adia. We are going to get to the bottom of this crazy cavern, this vestment cave. Investment cave? Okay, here we are. Whoa, what? Oh, I hate it when that happens. You go upwards when you're supposed to try to leave. <laughs> Alright, so going here. Just kind of going through. I love the fact that you can turn the encounters off. That is so awesome. Every RPG in existence should be exactly like this game right here. And that's a pretty big statement to say. You know, you've got... Um, there's lots of jobs you can do. Experience is plentiful. Oh man, there's a lot of good stuff about this game that they learned from previous RPGs that people hated, like grinding and all that other stuff, that they made it a lot easier. Alright, two more chests. We're running over here. This map is great too. I'm telling you. Okay, is there a chest this way? Yep. Okay, teleport stone. Okay, that's good. See, they give they even give you a teleport stone because they know that it's going to take forever to walk the heck out of this place. See, I'm telling you, the programmers on this game, they know what they're doing. Alright. Last treasure chest. A thousand P. Great. And then now we have the exit. Further down. How deep does this place go? Oh, adventurer. Here we go. Alright, let's save. Done. Now do we have to fight someone for this, or we just pick it up and go? 
I hope we get to fight someone. Ah! Look there! Is that the rainbow thread? Oh, it's lovely! I'm shocked we actually found it here. Now, let's collect it and be quit of this place. Uh, wait! We're not alone. A monster? Uh-oh. Here we go. Boss battle time. What the dragon? Oh my lord. Um, let's see. I hope I don't heal this thing with my special attack. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what my specials are. So you've got to be you got to be uh, able to find out a way of what your special elements are. Lightning. I don't know what he absorbs, so I'm just going to default with everyone. Wow! Oh, dude, you're kidding me! Wow, my gosh. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So he's weak against water. So I'm going to bust out blizzards against him, but he's got a lot of HP. Let's bust this out. Uh, let's go to send. Special. Maximum draw. Um, let's use our special horizon. And let's just use like two blizzards on him. Okay, maximum draw. Here we go. Wow, 3,000 on him. Nice! Okay, well, Ringabell can yeah, knock yeah. this guy out really easily. I thought this was going to be a tough battle. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Wow, dude, are you kidding me? That was awesome! I thought this was going to be hard, but we freaking annihilated him, and I got a crit on the horizon? Whoo, man! Get that 3,724 power maximum draw street passed right over to you guys. So whoever you guys are that are on my friends list and are playing this game... You're going to enjoy that. You can summon me anytime you want. Wow, dude. Are you kidding me? Well, that was a surprise. No one said anything about a monster. Did the old man know about this? If he knew and didn't tell us, he's awful. That would be lying. How could he put the Vestal in danger? Without her, who would perform the rites? Be calm, Mary. Perhaps this was a trial of sorts. A test of my resolve and skill as Vestal. Regardless, we found what we came for. Let's return with the thread. Okay, wow. Um, that was amazing. <laughs> What was my special ability? Okay, so my special was maximum draw. That's what I did. Oh, and it was water powered with a 30% boost. Oh, man. That was cool. So I was lucky that it was water powered. And let's look at Ringabell's special. What was it? Horizon? Yeah, Horizon was water powered as well. So that's. And Beast Slang. Wait, but that thing was Dragon. But either way, 30% power boost, water, horizon power. Dang, dude. That was awesome. Very awesome. All right, let's use the teleport stone. Let's get out of here. End off the episode. And then on our next episode, we'll head over to Old Man. We'll head over to Old Man, give him the rainbow thread, and hopefully he'll make our, uh, our ritual garb for us. And then we can head back to the Wind Temple. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode today. 
If you enjoyed it, please feel free to hit that like button and let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. If you guys want more Bravely Default, check out my channel where you find this Let's Play. You'll find the seven-part eShop demo. You'll find the Narende Village glitch, which you have to do, and even more AR card cutscenes. So thanks so much, and don't forget to subscribe for more Bravely Default. We'll talk to you later. See ya.